with Sean Brosnan, the head coach for track and field here at Newberry Park High School. We are getting ready. We're on the verge for uh, this Saturday is the start of the outdoor high school track and field season. We've already seen what Nico can do kind of fitness. He's in indoors. He, he ran a phenomenal 756.97 for 3K indoors, all time national high school record. Uh, and then now for the outdoor season. We saw last year and we saw in cross country, the plan was very selective in his scheduling. Can we expect the same thing for his senior outdoor season? Definitely. I mean, the, the number one goal for him was to, well, we set the goal for this 3K. Once he got that, that 3K, in, in our mind or, or his mind, my mind was like, if he broke that eight minutes, got that record, now we're going to have to reassess. You know, if that didn't happen, I, I didn't, I, I thought it was going to happen and it did. You know, now I think it puts us in a little different situation where I think we have to be really selective. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, I, I don't think we're hiding from the fact that, you know, he wants to go after Arcadia and that's on our map. So. Um, of what we want to do, but from there it's hard to say exactly what he's going to run. We're definitely going to be selective. We, he wants a fast mile somewhere, 1500. We got to figure out where to find that or what we want to do with that. Otherwise, um, you know, we're just taking it a week at a time. We know we have a little pretty good training block ahead of us, um, you know, up until April. So, you know, we'll maybe race a mile in between there at 1500. We don't know. Um, it's, it's, we just got to take it how he feels and everything, you know. After New York, you know, his recovery, it's been great. Um, you know, he's, he's back on the track this week looking phenomenal, um, wanting to do more. So I think we're going to just have to take it slowly and, and figure out really where we're going to go next. So it's a twofold challenge from your vantage point. On one hand, which event or which meets do we do? Right. And the other hand, also, if we pursue all the way down to state for high school, which event or events do we do? Right, right. We've seen a lot of great California kids who are really good, the best kids, and they try and double. Mm -hmm. And it's because California is so deep every year, yeah. it, it, even when you have a kid who's phenomenal, when you try and double back, it's triple basically because the, 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 the Friday prelims for, third, for the 16. Um, if you guys first, and we'll address in a minute about the high school season, but if you pursue the CIF route, uh, one event, two, what are your thoughts on What are your initial thoughts on that? You know, we, we've never, talked about the two we talked about it last year um, and almost almost we're gonna start the rounds and then decide like just we'll, we'll just he'll just bail out at, at prelims finals if he didn't think it was gonna go all the way to the state meet um, I don't know we, we really it's hard to say I mean we really haven't talked about if he would double it all I mean I've never been a big double type person coach I just I don't like that I say pick one and go for it all the way um, you know, but you know, when you look at records and you look at Herman Fernandez and, and what he's done, I mean, I mean, talk about a historic double. I, I don't know if that could be matched. I'm just going to be honest. Um, I think if there's someone to do it, I think Nico can. I think that two mile for sure. But to put a four flat in front of it has right. to make it. I mean, <laughs> and to run the mile the night before, the day before to qualify for the final. You know, we really have to think about things. If we went the the CIF route, it would really have to be okay. Let's. Uh, Let's decide if um, the double's worth it or not. And it's really going to be how he feels. I mean, I think Big's going to be up to him, um, you know, maybe even get some input from his future coach in college and, and see what they think. And, you know, I want him to be ready for college ultimately. So. so the other part of that question is which route? As far as open meets toward the end of the season? Because there are some big ones that might present themselves as far as opportunities yeah. go. Or the high school. We've seen a couple of times some kids, very rare, but some from California have veered the other way and bypassed the CIF state meet. Right. What are the chances, initial thoughts of that? The only, you know, the, the, probably the first time I'll ever answer this, I mean, because it's funny, people have, have I, I feel like they've had opinions on it, and I don't think I've ever really said it, but mm -hmm. I'll say it like, you know, the 5K is on his mind a little bit, that 5K record. Uh, we haven't really ever said, okay, let's go do that. At, we can do, obviously, we're gonna have to do that at an open meet somewhere. Um, but where that presents itself is gonna be a hard situation in the middle of CIF rounds and stuff. You'd have to figure out where to get him in. I think with this 3K, we should be able to get him into some fast 5K that it would, you know, it's 1337. That's the, um, you know, Galen Rupp record. And, you know, that's kind of his, you know, I would say, you know, he looks up to Galen Rupp and that's kind of who he, he likes to, um, you know, want to run like. And I think that's the type of runner he is. And I think that's who Nico is um, in the future as he goes in the longer distances. But I also think that, 
you know, I want to give him a chance to be a high school kid and, and, you know, run these high school races too, and I think he should. So, I don't know, we're going to have to think about it. The, the 5K is on his mind, it's on my mind, but it would have to be the perfect situation. If it's too much, I don't want to do it. I don't want to chase records. I, I, I just don't want to chase records. I don't want him to chase records. I think it's appealing for him, but if he does it, I, I want it to be right, and I don't want to overdo it. So, it, it's something we have to think about, you know. If I can just air toy lights real quick and put in my two cents. I think one reason why Newbury Park's done so well this year is because they've been very selective. Oftentimes, kids and coaches get in the tendency to try and chase records and marks, and it, it leads to stress yeah. uh, in multiple ways, and it, it almost yeah. ends up having diminishing returns. So hopefully uh, that approach you've taken continues on in track and field. Uh, one last question on Nico. First, before we do two other things real quick. On Nico, um, what's the big challenge for you with Nico heading into the track and field season now? What's the biggest challenge probably as a coach? I think the biggest challenge for Nico is, I mean, he just, I mean, uh, I don't know how to say this, but like pulling him back. I mean, the kid, we do workouts and, you know, they're on video or people see him and they think they're too fast, they think they're too crazy. But like, I'm with him every day. He, I know him really well. He knows himself and, I, and that's I think a great attribute for him to have that he understands his body really well when it's too hard or, too, or not too hard. But the biggest challenge is not overdoing it with him. You know, and I, I really have to pull it back. And I think we do, I really do. Um, you know, I think when people look at it, they gotta look at Nico Young as Nico Young as one of the greats. So his training level isn't like a kid that runs nine flat. It's not like a kid that runs 840 right now. He's way ahead of that. So, you know, we're, I'm trying to, we're trying to balance the right act of, you know, the right training and not overdoing it. It's really easy for me to just keep raising his miles. We haven't. Um, he still never hit as high as I thought he would hit right, that right now um, because there's just been bumps in the road. We're not a bump in the road, but we've decided to do New York. And I thought it was more important to do this work instead of more miles and this and that. So um, we're, we're, you know, we're setting him up that his fastest times will be, I think, Arcadia and will be, you know, May and June. So whatever we decide, he'll and P's gonna shock people in May and June that are really gonna, you know, I, I think they'll, they'll be surprised. Okay. Shifting gears real quick, uh, I know I've talking over the time over over the months with some reporters, and we'll talk about Newberry Park, and the, the conversation is always about Nico, and I kind of mentioned to them the fact that you know, Colin Salmon's a top sophomore in the state. Oh, yeah. Look at the two freshmen, some freshmen, best freshmen in the state. Nicholas Goldstein, the breakthrough he's had. Jace, obviously a phenomenal number two runner. Yeah. There's so much talent out there at so many different levels in a sense. Uh, how fun, how challenging is it in the workouts? I mean, it's awesome. You know, it, it, I sometimes I forget that, you know, when I started four years ago, five, it would be my fifth year at track, I just finished my fourth across, we, it wasn't close to this. You know, I mean, I was just telling someone earlier, I, I might have 15 guys on the 430 this year. I mean, we have our my JV guys are doing workouts that Jace did a couple years ago that are just shocking me. Um, I think, you know, it, it it's been awesome to watch because it's like, it, and the girls' side, the girls' side is is crept into that where it's like now they want to be a part of that that success and they want to be you know in that limelight and they want to be at nationals and they want to be a contender for a title that I think we're going to be on both sides and you know to have Lex, Leo, Aaron Solomon, Aaron Cantu, these are great freshmen. I, I, I'll say it, I might have four freshmen that could break 420. I don't even know but I'm trying to find out if there's a four by mile freshman record because if there <laughs> is they might be able to break it. I'm going to put them in I think at Mount Sac as freshmen just to say we have four freshmen that just did that you know I mean it, it's right. pretty unbelievable. Actually, there is a record. I don't know what it is now, but if I recall right, I think Great Oak actually said it a while back. I'll, okay. look, it, I'll look it up. A um, couple of things real quick. As far as competitive, it seems like whenever I see the kids uh, or I talk to the kids about other kids, it seems like the, the, the camaraderie is very strong. Yeah. You've got a kid like, like, uh, like Colin Salmon, for instance. Going into NXN, I figured he was going to be the key because we knew what our top two could do. We had an idea with four and five. The real key is how will he move past other scores from other yeah. schools like Great Oak, so forth, and he came through big time. Um, how good are the kids as, as far as supporting each other, sharing the limelight, and I don't see much much friction there. You know, there's not. I mean, I've, I was definitely, you know, I saw it, you know, in college, I saw it, you know, post-collegiately, I, I saw it in colleges I helped out with, um, that, that, you know, t fight for the top seven, and, you know, a lot of crazy drama that can happen, but it doesn't seem like that, you know. 
I have to give it to Jace too, because Jace is, I, I think, one of the the better runners in the, in the country. Yeah. You know, he was 18th at nationals in, in NXN, and um, you know, I don't want to say he takes the back seat to Nico, but he lets it motivate him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, Colin lets it motivate him, and they, they don't let it like, oh, well, I want that. You know, I, I, it's not that Nick is not like that at all. You know, and they they we try to I try to let them know that like you have a bad day, you you, you better be cheering for your teammate to have a good day because you need that. You know, the truth is, um, you know, we had, you know, Nick didn't have a great day at NXN, but, but Colin, I mean, I think Colin passed the whole Great Oak team in the past yeah. 400 meters. Yeah. He knew what he had to do, and it was like that that helped us right there, yeah. you know? And then we had some guys that didn't have great ones, but that's what a team is, you know? And these guys, they work together. They do a phenomenal job, so it's really good. And in the girls program as well, they're coming together really, really nicely. We've seen the boys been phenomenal for years, but we've seen the girls rise up so, so fast, so quickly. What's been the key there? What's, been, what's the key challenge for them in track? The girls, I mean, I, I think the girls, um, you know, I think, well, the, I think the girls seeing the guys is, is the main reason that they're, that they're doing what they're doing and the success they're having. Um, you know, I think our girls are gonna be just as good of our, as our guys next year. I think we're gonna shock people. I, I, I keep using that term, but I really do. Um, they wanna be a part of something big. They're, they're willing to put the work in this summer. Um, you know, one thing at a time, I want them to get the track first. I mean, I have, I have girls that are gonna run low three, uh, 450s, under 450 this year, multiple ones. I mean, they're just, the way they're working out, and I know our, my girls in the 3200 this year, I mean, it, it's not even, where they were last year, it's not even close to the same level. So I think it all, I think it, it, it breeds success. I coach both programs that together every day, they see each other work out, they cheer each other on, and I think that's a big reason. Outstanding. Last thing, this weekend, I believe you have a few kids running at the Rossi Relays. It's an open race, just a few kids doing that. Yeah. What's the next race after that? Um, after that, it's it, we're gonna take it, you know, one at a time. I think we're gonna have a few kids run some of our younger guys at uh, the Don Green Invite. Okay. Um, a Moore Park. It's local. Um, they do a great job. You know, it's Friday night. It, it, the weather's usually good with not, not a lot of winds, so probably there. And then after that. Um, I'll, I'll be at Meet of Champions with my team, and then we'll be obviously Arcadia, um, Mount Sac. I just don't know what kids are going to run what events. Um, and you know, as far as like Nico's concerned and and Jace, it's see, we really got to pick these these battles wisely and figure out which ones are going to be best for them. All right, great. So an inside look at the Newberry Park program, coming off of cross country, the national championship, and looking ahead to track and field. Sean Brasson, thank you very much.